Since it's been three years since we got to the last episode of Black Clover, I thought it would be a great opportunity to kind of recap some of the events that are leading up to this alleged new season that we're getting in 2025. Now, if you guys don't know, my name's Emery, AKA MV Sensei. If you guys enjoyed this content, enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like, maybe a follow, turn those notifications on. If there's an idea to a, a topic you'd like me to discuss, let me know in the comments. Now let's get into it. Now, the first thing I think everybody needs to remember is that Asta is now sick. <laughs> That's thick with three C's, okay? Okay, also turns out that Yuno is an even more of a Nepo baby as we found out that he is the crown prince and rightful heir to the Spade Kingdom. And speaking of Yuno, let's not forget that while he's finding out this information, his entire squad is getting one manned and he only shows up in time to get his shit wrecked as well. Essentially, all of the Golden Dawn, the supposed best squad in all of the Clover Kingdom, would have died had it not been for the goat William. Little side note, he might not be as goaded as I say since he was captured at the end. So finally for Asta, after returning to the Black Bulls after being away at the Heart Kingdom training for several months, he shows up just in time to get his shit ran by a fucking weirdo with even weirder magic. <laughs> Okay, that's not entirely true. Asta really did hold his own against Dante, but let's be honest, had Yami not shown up when he did, that fight would have ended a lot sooner. And had Yami not shown up, Asta would have not surpassed his limits. We would have not gotten one of the best fucking duo fights in this entire series. Oh my God, And so after they defeat Dante, you know, Yami throws Asta his sword, he cloaks it in his anti-magic, they beat him, everything's looking up, we get the fucking bony boy himself show up and just murk Yami in an instant. Made it, she made it. I need to stress to you guys how terrifying this individual is that they can go to the Golden Dawn, murk up everybody, steal William, and then proceed to show up at the Black Bulls, take out Yami, and then steal Yami's body and Dante's all at the same time. That man is a fucking menace. Now, meanwhile, while the Black Bulls are getting their shit murked up and the Golden Dawn's getting their shit murked up over in the Heart Kingdom, the remaining Black Bull members and Mimosa are having a hard ass time. So I believe it's Noel, Luck, little baby Fugaleon, Mimosa. Okay, even Nero was there and she was a vital asset in trying to seal up the blood curse lady. Okay, you gotta see every member of the Black Bulls that was present surpass their limits and bust out moves we've never seen them use. What the? You get to see little brother Fugoleon fucking bust out some moves you never seen him use. And then you even get to see Mimosa pop off, all to have their shit ran and the entire Heart Kingdom damn near brought to an entire rubble. So essentially, Blood Lady showed up with her gang. They ran everybody's shit, okay? Because her hacks were just so much better than Nero's fucking. So after beating everybody, humiliating them, she then has all her subordinates blow up, causing mass casualties. And to make matters worse, the Bloody Lady takes Queen Little Peachka just so she feels like it would get a reaction out of Noel that would make Noel stronger and a better fight for later. So essentially after everybody was defeated, right after a training arc, 
all looks locked until we get the assistance from some old friends and some new friends. One of the biggest reveals that we got out of this last season was the reveal of the vice captain of the Black Bulls. And we find out that he is in fact a spy inside the Spade Kingdom all this time. And he just casually rolls up on all the magical knight captains and lets them know, hey, this is their plan. They're trying to open up the portal to the demon world. And if they do that, they're gonna release the demon king. And if he gets released, we're all dead. And so after just, you know, big dick flexing, rolling up on the captains, telling them the oh shit scenario that everybody has, he just proceeds to steal Asta. He just kidnaps him, kidnaps him, and then proceeds to make him literally and both metaphorically face his inner demons. That was the second crazy big reveal we got. We finally meet Asta's demon that's been living inside his grimoire the whole time, the one that's been assisting him and keeping him alive all this time. The demon that makes him special. And we actually like get to see them like duke it out and like see like who's gonna take control, who's gonna have command. And after like Asta like lays down his shit, instead of enslaving the demon, he creates a partnership and now they're like brothers. And so with this new power in sight, Asta looks to surpass his current limits and train with Lich and Lupel, while Noel is training with the fucking exiled elves, leaving us all still wondering, is everybody going to be able to train and surpass their limits in time to save William and Yami before they can open up the portal to the demon realm? Now, I've read the manga. I know what's going to happen. If you guys would like a synopsis on what to expect in the series, let me know in the comments. Again, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you guys like it, subscribe, turn those notifications on, and I appreciate you guys for watching this video. If there's anything else you'd like to know from me, leave it in the comments, and then we out.